Welcome to Q&A for Young Onset Parkinson's Disease, where you ask the questions and I answer them live. My partner seems to be delusional. What can I do? I'm at the end of my rope, ready to break up. The letter goes on to talk about um, the person being out of touch with reality. Funny you should ask. Parkinson's disease medications do in fact cause paranoia, suspicion, abnormal jealousy, all kinds of feelings of percusatory thoughts, like the world's against you, and of course, somatic changes, where you think your body is uniquely and specially diseased and wrong, and you just see a million doctors and becomes an obsession. These are all part of the Parkinson's delusion, okay? These come from medications. The person experiencing these so-called delusions or hallucinations, which are also auditory and visual and such, like when you see something out of the corner of your eye, does not need to be shamed, persecuted, taught a lesson, or whatever. You don't need to shun them. They need new medication. They need to see their doctor. Simple as that. These, these are chemical problems. You see, the medication that Parkinson's patients take to help us move affects our dopamine. And dopamine can affect our behavior and our emotions. So if that's out of whack, this is going to happen. And 50% of patients experience this at some point, usually at least 10 years in, after you've had a lot of the meds and they start to lose their efficacy. However, delirium can also be caused by a number of other things. Let's take this a bit, a bit further. Uh, the delirium can be caused by infections, electrolyte imbalances, B12 loss or lack, stroke, heart and liver disease, fevers, head traumas, and all kinds of meds such as insulin, steroids, sedatives. So there are a number of reasons why these things might happen. Depression can also cause slight psychosis or extreme psychosis because we're just off. Chemistry matters. Many times it's something that can be quickly solved or solved over time. It's not just a behavioral change. It's not like a pull yourself up from your bootstraps kind of thing. And it's certainly not a choice. So to take this personally would be a huge mistake. It'll make it so much worse from all sides. To recognize that this is a health issue and nothing more is informed, educated, compassionate, and wise. And don't we all want to be more that way? I certainly do, and thank you. I'm learning along with you. Thank you for your question. I hope you work out your relationship. It also helps to see therapists individually or as a couple and to communicate as best as you can. Really listen to each other. And remember, while you're in it, you can't possibly be describing it. It would be the equivalent of having a nervous breakdown or a panic attack and having somebody screaming at you to relax and trying to describe it as it's unfolding. You need a little bit of distance. You need to bring yourself down a bit. Breathe, touch the ground, reground yourself to be able to describe what's happening. And so for anyone experiencing this from the outside or the inside, take it easy on each other. We'll get our chemistry right one of these days. Take good care and thanks for asking. We're in this together.